Hi, this is Severin from the 3D Applications team. Welcome back to the Image Stack Processing tutorial. The Image Stack Processing workroom is a very intuitive and optimized 2D setup to enhance and segment data in Aviso and Amira. In the first two lessons, you should have learned how to access the workroom, use the viewers, add and modify steps, change the reference, insert steps, inspect a different slice of the data. In this last lesson, you will see how to save the image style processing recipe and quit the workroom, export multiple outputs, remove or replace steps and manage errors, add external input to the workflow, export workflow parameters for easy access from the image style processing module, use the image style processing recipe from the project workroom. In the previous lessons, we have created a workflow to segment the three phases of the chocolate bar, namely the pores, nougat and caramel. At this stage, it is a good idea to save the workflow being edited. From the workflow window, click Save As and then save the workflow on disk. The file extension is .hxisp. The Save button allows overwriting the current file if a file is already specified. The Save button is disabled if there is nothing new to save. To quit the workroom and switch back to the project workroom, click Quit, but make sure the file is saved before accepting it. Let's export multiple outputs of the candy bar data. By default, only the last step of the image stack processing workflow is exported as final output from the image stack processing module. It is represented by the output icon. To export additional outputs such as the caramel and nougat phase, click the output icon. When the image stack processing module is executed from the main project workroom, the module outputs the last step of the image stack processing recipe and the data that are selected as additional outputs in the workroom. In image stack processing, any step can be removed. As an example, we can replace the deletion followed by an erosion with a selective closing. Select step 7 and click the delete icon. The workflow is automatically recalculated to take the changes into account. Select the erosion step, now step 7, and then click the delete icon. In this case, the workflow panel detects an error and highlights it using the error icon in step 10. The mask step was using the output of the step we just deleted. The workroom does not delete every step. There is still a chance to fix this by simply re-editing the workflow. Select step 6, remove small spots, and type selective in the quick search toolbar of the module browser. Select selective closing from the list. Set the number of iterations to 5 and threshold to 3. Click the mask step where the error appears and then set the selective closing output as a binary image. The workflow is almost fixed. There is still an error at the last step image arithmetic. Select this step and set the input C port correctly. The workflow is now fixed. Another reason why the workflow might be wrong is that the primary data of a module expects a data type different from the previous output. For example, binary is expected when previous output is grayscale. We will now add an extra input to the workflow. The default behavior of the image style processing workroom is to have access only to the data built from the reference data the room was opened with. However, it is possible to add data external to the workflow, under the condition that the data has the same dimension in X, Y and Z as the input reference data. As an example, let's use the inverted nougat mask data that we originally loaded. Here is how we would include it as an extra input to the image stack processing. Look in the external input field at the bottom of the workflow panel. The list is populated with external data compatible with the current workflow. Select the external data to add to the workflow. Chocolate bar nugget invert.am. Click Add. A message lets us know that the data is now available. In the last mask step, select the new data from the properties panel.
When going back to the main project workroom, an additional input is now available in the image style processing module. For the purpose of the tutorial, we will now remove the extra step to have only one main input. In the last mask step, select back the result of invert step as binary image. Click Clean. The message lets us know that an input has been removed. In Mask module, the chocolate bar Now Get Invert is no longer available in the input binary image list. We will now select and export specific parameters from the image tag processing workroom to make them available from the image tag processing module in the project workroom. Since the image tag processing recipe can be used on any input data from the project workroom using the image tag processing module, it is sometimes convenient to have specific parameters of the workflow readily available directly from the module. We can then fine tune the recipe when applied on a data set different from the one which is used to create it. Any parameters can be exported using the pin icon from the properties panel. When the icon is pinned down, the parameter will be available directly from the image style processing module in the project workroom. Click on the thresholding step and click on the pin icon of the intensity range parameter. Go back to the project workroom and select the image style processing module. Look at the properties panel. The intensity range is now available and can be changed. Finally, we will apply a saved workflow to a 3D dataset processed at the stack of images from the project room using the image search processing module. For the tutorial, we will apply the workflow that we created to the full dataset. At this stage, the image tag processing module attached to the chocolate bar data should point to the .hx ISP file we have saved on disk. To process the data with the workflow, click Apply in the Properties panel once the image tag processing module has been selected in the pool. Now that the workflow is ready as an image tag processing recipe, it can be applied to any data. This can be done by changing the inputs of the image tag processing module. The workflow described in this tutorial can be found at the following location. Share ISP chocolate bar segmentation tutorial .hx ISP. To load it, simply click the browse button in the image tag processing module and select the recipe. We can then click on the edit workflow to see the details of the recipe. As a summary, in this lesson and the previous ones, you should have learned how to access the image tag processing workroom, use the viewers, add and modify steps, change the reference, insert steps, inspect a different slice of the data, save the image tag processing recipe and quit the workroom, export modules outputs, remove and replace steps and manage errors, add external inputs to the workflow, export workflow parameters, use the image tag processing recipe from the project room. Goodbye and thank you for viewing these tutorials.